Welcome back, welcome back. Another Q-Tip Fridays. A lot of people enjoyed the last one and I'm glad everybody did. Um, had over probably, I think 90,000 views, almost a thousand comments, crazy, 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 crazy. Um, but this week, this topic is called Imagine Living Limitless. Imagine Living Limitless. Say that 10 times, but you can't say it. Imagine Living Limitless. It gets crazy. But Imagine Living Limitless is a topic. <clears throat> Very important topic for the most part because I feel like it, um, it opens up your mind a little more. You know what I'm saying? It, it makes you just... Think of, think of the possibilities. You know, if if all things just changed up a, a tad bit on how you go about each and, each and everyday life. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be able to relate to this right here, all right? So living limitless to me is like saying that um you live on your own terms. You know what I'm saying? You do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, when you want to do it, doesn't matter. Living limitless, all right? So, <clears throat> the biggest thing that I've always noticed, right? Like, whenever it comes to video games, for example, right? When a person's playing a video game, what do you want to do? Like, what do you plan on, on accomplishing within that video game? It could be a racing game. Um, in a racing game, you want to, you know, go through the entire career, you know what I'm saying, get championships, get, you know what I'm saying, reach your full potential inside that game, and let's say NBA 2K, same concept, you want to, you know, go throughout your entire career, you want to have all the great stats, all the great records, go through everything, all right, football game, same concept, you want to go through the entire career, you want to put in all the, those, um, days and days and days of hard work to actually get to a certain point that you are at a certain rank, that kind of thing, all right? Um, a tennis game, same thing. Um, a fighting game, you want to beat everybody inside a fighting game to pretty much become the champion. Um, and Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto is a big one too because Grand Theft Auto is literally like just um, a life simulation in a sense, right? You can do anything at any point, whatever fly fly planes drive cars whatever right in a grand Theft Auto, you want to you want to get what you want to be the, the career you want to you want to gain money you want to gain respect you want to um buy different houses in different places you want to get all kind of different cars fix them up blah 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 all kind of shit all right <clears throat> imagine having that same energy when it comes to how you deal with yourself in real life. Just imagine that. Imagine how much things that you could actually accomplish if you put the same kind of energy that you put in a video game in your real life, all right? As far as the hours and hours and hours of, of work playing the game, you could imagine hours and hours and hours of work that you're putting into real life towards a certain craft that you wanna actually you know, get good at. Imagine that. And imagine all those things going on each and every day and, and every single body is, you know, under the same mindset. Imagine how much progress can be made. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine, all right? So now, when it comes to living limitless though, I see living limitless as, imagine if you didn't work. Imagine if no one worked. Or like, you know, there was there wasn't that many jobs that um imagine people not staying at jobs that they that, that they didn't like. That that's a better way on how to say it. Imagine people that, you know, they, they were only at jobs that, that they liked, but if they didn't like the job then they wouldn't do it. Living limitless is like <clears throat> imagine waking up every single day and doing what you love. And every single day is a journey. Just like how in Grand Theft Auto, you would pretty much do whatever you want inside the entire day. 
your day is based on you. You know what I'm saying? If you want to fly here, then you fly here. If you want to drive there, then you drive there. If you want to do this, then you do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty much just everything is literally on your own terms. But imagine doing that each and every day because I truly, I truly, truly feel like um, to fully, fully enjoy life. Remember, this is my opinion. I never had the mindset that I would have enjoyed life if I'm only spending a portion of my day in, jo in doing what I like to do. As far as if I'm working, let's say nine to five, I, I only have probably what, like like four or five hours to actually do like what I like to do. And every now and again, I have like a vacation, that kind of stuff. I'll probably do like what I want to do, but I'm literally in my entire lifespan, I'm probably only like living and doing what I want to do maybe 20% or 30% of my entire lifespan. What is that? Imagine now pumping that up to like 80 or 90%. Imagine 90% of your entire lifespan, you're doing exactly what you want to do. Every single day you wake up and just pretty much just go. It doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like you're being stressed. You know what I'm saying? Like you're actually putting in that time and effort towards a certain thing that you fully, fully like to do. And I feel like everybody can actually accomplish that same goal as far as just, you know, being at, at a point that they're willing to actually take a risk to, at times, you know, put aside a guaranteed paying job to then, you know, hustle and pretty much, you know, make money based off of what they, they really like to do. That way, I feel like you would actually cherish each and every day that you have on earth as far as like super like just yo listen like i woke up this morning like i i had my morning routine I actually um i took care of some meetings like towards a certain thing that i'm working on after that went to the gym after that hung out with some friends after that um I drove here and, and hung out with some with some more friends. I probably went to the beach after that. Probably went out to, to dinner with, with, with some other friends. After that, you know, go home and lay up with with your girl and just pretty much just watch Netflix for the rest of the night. That was a good day. And imagine having that same kind of energy towards everything that you do each and every day versus feeling like just like dreadful. Like, yo, I, I woke up. Yeah, man, like I got to go to work like I can't hang out with, with the boys oh I can't do this I can't do that just imagine just being able to pretty much do what you love and enjoy doing each and every fucking day but it's not for the week the week cannot actually withstand having to dig around and find you know where that next paycheck is gonna come from you know what I'm saying you gotta be super strong minded to actually you know walk into that 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 realm you know what i'm saying because whenever you're on that realm of you know establishing that limitless type life which means doing what you want to do each and every day it's not going to be easy to actually start up you know it's not going to be easy to actually just get inside that realm because that realm is not for the weak that realm is definitely hard to actually get to because there's so many weak-minded people out there that just won't take the risk and this is perfectly fine. But at the same time, that's where the beauty lies. The beauty lies right where it becomes difficult and hard to actually achieve. Because once you actually achieve that difficulty task, that difficult task, that's when you can actually then enjoy the, the, the um, beauty that's on the other side of, of that stuff right there. As far as the freedom, the financial freedom, the enjoyment of pretty much just living on your own terms like all these things just pretty much is on the other side of just going through that difficult time but should you but should you even attempt to even you know go past that difficult state i say everyone should try it because you don't know what, what you're capable of until you get put in a position that that you have to just like you know grind it out and, and pretty much just you know get to that, that other side and when you get to that other side trust me you look back at it like yo listen like I'll, I would have done that shit 10 times over because it was well worth it you get me so that comes to say like put your time and effort into something that has that 
longevity joy. You know what I'm saying? That that could actually keep you joy each and every day, each and every hour, and that you don't have to regret anything about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's my pretty much rant. That's my rant for this Friday, Q-Tip Fridays. Um, hope everyone got some, some kind of insight from this right here. You know what I'm saying? The same kind of effort that you put into video games and that kind of stuff, put it into real life. You could have that limitless life as well. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm catch you guys on the next Q-Tip Fridays. Peace out. Next Friday.